Okay, welcome back guys to my channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach us how to design this flyer right here. So without we start and let's get started. Okay, welcome back guys. First of all, we'll go to our file, we'll create new, click on new, then we'll change to inches then five inches by five inches resolution 400 then you click on your oh create so the next you are going to do come to this down here then you click on you click on it then you uh, gradient yeah, i'm going to change our gradient you go to your basics this first one you click on it then you eat or then you come to this first color you pick your 100 percent red this yeah like this is 100 percent red then you hit okay you come to this place where there is white you click on color you now select same 100 percent red but you now come you use it like this like you shift it down a little bit like something like this yeah a darker red then you click on just hit okay okay then you change the style to this then you eat okay so this is what we'll get is how to create the ingredients then i've already arranged everything so the next thing you're going to come you're going to pick this you come to this place you increase it you increase it like this then you close here. So the next thing you are going to change the blend option to overlay. Yes, overlay like this. So we're going to change it to overlay. So the next thing you are going to do is bring our picture. Or before that, you just group it. Control G, then right background, background it enter so the next you are going to do let me increase it a little bit next you are going to do you are going to bring in our pictures here's our pictures up oh, here's our pictures this I'm going to bring it like this drag it inside drag the pictures inside then we are reducing reducing it so the next thing We'll do we'll come to like this come to our filter camera roll filter camera roll you come to our basics then you screw up you see convert to black and white contrast increase the contrast a little bit then your black reduce it a little bit then the texture increase the clarity increase then you come to our details you come to details then noise reduction you increase it color a uh, color noise reduction you reduce it then increase the sharpening then it's okay so this is how we get this you can see how it is like this so the next thing you are going to do is our text the text or oh, before the text let's do this before the text you create a new a new layer max change this color to 100 percent red or you can just pick color from this place this down here yeah like this so you click g on your keyboard then you drag it like this you hold your shift key so you get something like this yeah you get something like this so can, if you know if you don't like it you can still increase it up a little bit so like this then you can still drag it then shift it up like this so i think i like it like this so the next thing you are going to do is our text we'll click write thank you thank you so we'll write our thanks first then we'll change the font change the font size to this font good time yes good time so the spacing in between we are going to use zero so we'll increase it 
a little bit like this then you change the color to white change the color to white then you duplicate you write you like this so the same size then the next thing you are going to do you are going to convert this to shape then you come you click on this your direct selection tool then you just select some part of it then you increase it like this you drag it so you get something like this yes so before that let's continue we'll group it Control G then Control J what's the meaning you you group then you um, you duplicate so we are going to take changes to text it okay then you hide this down one yeah so this we are going to merge the group yeah so we've merged it already so the effects now how to add effects you go to our blending option come to this embos the first one embos embos please watch very well then you click on this contour yes like this then you increase the depth so first of all we increase we add it to embose the first the style will be embose the the technique is smooth then the size will now increase the size so now you can play with the size which you want then the softening you increase the softening then the grow you increase this to this like this something like this then you can change the angle to angle 190 or 98 so you can still increase the size you can just play with the size then the depth you can still play with it too like this yes so if you like you increase the softening but i don't want to increase the softening but you can still work and uh, just play with it you can put add you can put smooth you can put soft so the one we are using is smooth like this and you hit OK, so we can see see it. Then the next thing you are going to do, you click on 650 subscribers. All thanks to you guys, subscribers. Hit OK. You change the font size, change the font size or the font style to any font. So this is it then you reduce it like this then it's okay so we are going to select this 350 just to change the style to heavy it's okay then you can just increase it like this so that's it so uh the what's next We'll come to come to this place. We'll click our logo. Our logo. You we'll bring it here. You put it here like this. Increase it a little bit. Then I'll just turn it around like this. Then I go to my filter blur motion blur. I just increase the blurring it okay they are going to this i'll put it on extension i'll put it on extension i hit okay then i'll take it down the picture down these peaks like like this i'll take it here down these peaks i can just hit it up a little bit like this increase it okay then i duplicate sorry then i click on ctrl j to duplicate i take it up here i hit ok ok just for you to just play around you just change it to scream or overlay let's use scream scream will be better take it down like this so the reason why we are not seeing some of this effect like this is this let me just tell us the secret now you come to this background you click on this you we supposed to convert it to black and white image adjustment the black and white then we we'll click on okay you now see 
so this is it click on ok so this is how it will look like and we can still play with it you can just create this then we just press B on our keyboard you just brush through this area like this so just play around sharp just play around like this come like this it okay then I'll just increase it like this take it then I'll reduce the the opacity a little bit then the next thing I'm going to do these are text we're going to increase our text it's too small so we are going to increase it then to add the effect or this lightning effect we'll create our new layer press your B click on it select the red color it okay then come like this eat it then come down here still eat it can still come here eat it then you cover it to this or this or this or this anyone you just feel like doing but i'm coming like this so then convert to layer then change duplicate it duplicate so that's it or you can just use cream this you use cream too so that's it you can just play around play around with it shift it anywhere you want so guys okay the last but not the least is to just come down here just draw your rectangle too like this then change and uh, you're going to curve the 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 uh, the edges so you curve it like this then we we'll centralize it centralize all your control then the keep the this and you just go centralize it so the next thing i'm going to do we'll go to our we'll go to our this blending options come to our gradient change the gradient color remember how we did this red down the first gradient color it okay come to this place change to red then drag it down it okay so the no next thing i'm going to do i'm going to leave it like this then click on it okay then click on reverse so going to come and add stroke our stroke will be five then outside yes opacity like this or we can still make the stroke seven seven oh, it's too much five five the opacity should be like 50 and it okay so we we'll just come click on right dummy design you can just put your name it okay change change to white then reduce bring it down like this it okay then you carry you carry you come here you select this and bring it down like this then you reduce it but you shift it bring it up because it should be at the top like this so you reduce it you reduce it like this it okay then these two drag drag it so guys please if you know you've not subscribed to my channel please by the end of march i want my channel to reach 1k i know this can only be done this can never be done except you guys support me so please don't forget to like share and subscribe okay i love you so that's it that's it so thanks for watching thank you for staying to the end i love you guys bye